every project that has gotten to the point where they're trying to build a, a really good web or mobile application has hit this issue. And what most of them have done is built these custom proprietary indexing servers. You know, they're, they're like, we can't actually you know, run the queries that we need. And so let's, let's build a server that syncs data from, from, from Ethereum, stuffs it into a SQL database and serves it over an API. And then our, our front ends will just hit that custom API. I'd say that that's probably what like 90 plus percent of the projects have done so far. The other option is if uh, you want to keep your app completely decentralized, then you can try to just sync everything on the client. So basically in that case where you want to let people filter uh, particular listings, you could load up all of the listings on the client and then filter it locally. You know, that second option only works when you have some small amount of data or if you're willing to make the users wait a very, very long time uh, before you can show them a screen. Um, so, so some applications have chosen to do that but you know the, the alternative is you have to run and operate your own servers. And it's one of these cognitive dissonance things where we're trying to build dApps and a big part of building a dApp is this idea of um, you know, it's completely serverless and you don't have to trust anyone to operate servers and infrastructure. And yet in order to build applications that are actually usable, uh, we have to do exactly that. Okay, so let me get this straight. Currently, what you're saying is that 90% of Ethereum dApps are running their own proprietary software that's sitting on top of the Ethereum node that's being hosted on server infrastructure. And they're serving SQL queries through APIs, allowing users that are using those dApps on their clients to query the databases of these centralized sort of choke points before they can even access the blockchain database. That's exactly right. Very well said. Okay, great. I'm glad we got that settled.